Hey, you're a horse, and you're not well endowed. Why is that? I don't know, but what I do know is... I got another product from DK Oldies. From a secret address. <laughs> is DK Oldies a scam? No. Thank you for blocking me on Twitter, by the way, because I'll definitely use that to get more views on this video. Scentbird is reimagining everything about how people discover, shop for, purchase, and even experience fragrances. Scentbird is a place to begin or deepen your relationship with fragrances, and Scentbird acts as a place to express your individuality and gives each and every person the power to express themselves through fragrance. Now what's really cool is that Scentbird lets you try a new fragrance every month for just $17 a month. And it's not some kind of surprise subscription, so you know what fragrance you're gonna get every month. They have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. With each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply, so you get to try them out before you commit to a full bottle. Semper carries brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, and also indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of Rebel. One of the nice things, too, is that this is the uh, wildfire uh, fragrance, is that the cases on them are really interesting. This is actually the nozzle. All you gotta do is twist it, and now you could spray this on your neck or wherever you want to and then you'll smell luscious. Now I smell like a wildfire. It's citrusy. It's earthy. It's everything I need to be. Now I am. Thanks, Scentbird. And I also got Skylar Indigo Valley, which has a very bright and vibrant smell. It's the best way I could describe it and it I don't know, it just works really good. So use my coupon code REVIEWTECH to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Come on, that's a hell of a deal. So thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. Make sure you smell wonderful too. Okay, so breaking news, DK Oldies are huge fans of my other videos. Needless to say, I'm kidding. They've blocked me, they've blocked my editor. Uh, they don't like that I'm exposing them for being frauds and scam artists. Now, again, there's some people with the name Punk in their YouTube channel. Hand jobs all around. That seem to be like, hey, if you know what you're buying, and you don't do research, that's on you. If they were just selling these consoles at high prices, I know I said this in the other videos and in live streams, if they were just selling these consoles at high prices and people were gobbling them up, cool. Not a problem with that. But when you say they're refurbished, when you're showing videos of these consoles being refurbished and you are getting the crap that I've shown here, that's a totally different ball field. And for everyone who doesn't get that, you're stupid. So, needless to say, when they blocked me on Twitter, I knew if I wanted to get another product from them to try out, I was going to have to go to a secret address. And as you see here, it's from DK Oldies. There was a tracking number and stuff down here. I don't care if people see my address. My address is like public knowledge. But the address that I got this sent to, hell no, I don't want them to know where it's going because... Then it'll blow up my cover in case something else happens in the future. This will probably be the final video on DK Oldies for quite a while, but I don't want to say it's the final video like I did with Tickle Television. Breastfeed it to you. Because then something else will happen and then that people will say I was a liar. But you can see it's from DK Oldies and you can see I'm a man still with the stuff he knows from COVID. I have a horse here. The horse is not well endowed. Very disappointed. That should be all. Oh man, really? Oh, my favorite, the peanuts. I love the peanuts. I mean, it's good they're using the biodegradable ones. I applaud them for that. Wait, no, they're not. They're only using some of the biodegradable. I can't even say, hey, DKLDs, at least you care about the environment. <laughs> that would be a lie. And of course, we get the absolute worst. Let me put the box on the floor for now. It'll just be easier to take out each piece one by one. Okay, let's see. Oh God, it's it's horrible. It's it's terrible. 
It's it's a third party crap control. Like, at least there's a decent ones you could find on eBay that that you could for the oh man how much two hundred and sixty dollars two hundred and sixty dollars and they give that crap okay but remember if you uh, call them out on this you're a clickbait neckbeard think of sort of what I was called before classy very classy Joey would be proud he had nothing to do with it I'm just, just kidding but anyway here is the uh, neckbeard power cord it's a power cord I don't, there's nothing really to say AV cord I'm not expecting them to give component cables or anything like that so that's fine that's a non-issue what I'm also interested in is to see because maybe this is part of their game they're sending out the bad ones to youtubers the youtubers are all clenching their pearls like oh god these are so terrible and then it gets people to talk about them and maybe that's how they think they'll make the money so sending it to a random address beyond the fact that DKLDs can't stand me anymore maybe they'll send out a clean console to a regular customer who they didn't know was me but hi hi it was me little bit of a nick there they could have easily magic eraser that it's not bad i mean i'm gonna crack it open i'm gonna try a game first i'm gonna try its functionality first but uh the uh, av port seems clean land port seems clean make sure you guys can see it Scratched a little scratch right there, but what it's it's not a new console that that see that's the kind of stuff with the NES and the PlayStation 2 this kind of stuff would be like all right It has a little They're not brand new. These are consoles from the early 2000s um, Well, the NES is from 1985. Yeah, no, this is Buttons are clicky and not sticky that rhymes. Okay, we're gonna crack it open, but from outside appearances, you can hear my dog, the pug, is excited. It looks okay. I don't know what to say, it looks okay. All right, let me plug it in. Hopefully it works, but from, they did a pretty good job cleaning up the outside anyway. So bizarre, sent to a random person who they didn't know was affiliated with me, and they actually are at least it seems so far, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Maybe it's part of their more I don't, I'm so confused. I'm just a man on the internet. I'm, t I'm shutting off the camera now. I'm not coming down here anymore. Okay, so I have the Xbox plugged in, not the AV cord, so it's gonna have the funky light flashing. Just keep that in mind. And let's see if it even functions. Okay. Sounds okay. I believe. I've had Xboxes before that have sounded similar. Alright, so look what I have here. This is a modded Xbox, and this is Joey's DKLD Xbox. I have no idea if Joey had anything to do with it, but I want to pretend he did. Uh, we're going to compare how the fans sound in these and see which one is noisier. The modded one? Or the DKLD's quality refurbished? Xbox. Let's take a listen. All right, so this is the modded Xbox I've had for years. And here, it's going to get blurry, the footage, but that's not the point. It's, it's pretty quiet. Here. All right, so that's that. Now I'll put the DKLD's Xbox back up and record, it, record footage for that. Okay, this is the DKLD's Xbox. Take a listen. You hear it? You hear it? It's not, it may just be a different brand of fan. We're gonna open this up and, and find out, but it definitely is louder like noticeably louder. Draw sounds perfectly fine. Sounds really good actually. Let's look at the draw itself. Hmm, I see a crumb here, but who knows, maybe, I don't know, after they cleaned it and put fresh thermal paste on it, 
uh, someone just decided to have a, a Pepperidge Farm cookie before they put it in the box. We'll, we'll leave it, we'll go there. But anyway, before I open it, and I always do this so DK Oldies can't say that I broke something, uh, we're gonna try a game. So now I'm gonna capture some footage. I might be naked while I'm capturing it, so keep that in mind and we'll see. I have a few games here. I'm just gonna pick one to see if it reads a disc and then we'll crack it open. All right, so the Xbox is plugged in. It is working. I'm not hearing any audio because I'm an idiot and have the wrong headphones on. <laughs> now I am hearing uh, the Xbox, so sound is working. Now let me hit, let dad hit the big button. No, I am not talking about my nipple. Okay, so we're putting in Halo 2. It is in. You probably heard it through the microphone. Disk drive eject button is blinking. I do feel it spinning up. Your Xbox can't recognize this disc. Make sure it's an Xbox game. Oh no. Oh come on. This disc is perfectly goddamn clean. <laughs> Dude, okay. All right. I'm gonna use my iPhone to get a really sharp picture of this. All right, so this is just to show so they don't think I'm making it up and have like some family movie. This is Halo 2. This is the disc it could not read. Do you see any scratches on that disc? All right, there's a little bit of one there. It is in very good condition. I don't know about you, but a, a functioning Xbox should read that, but who am I? All right, so a very clean copy of Halo 2 won't work in here, but who knows? Maybe there's... I haven't used that game in ages. Maybe there's something else wrong. Maybe there's... I'm going to put in uh, Doom 3. Doom 3, let's see. Now, what I'm going to do after this, luckily I have another Xbox on deck. I'm going to hook that one up, my modded one. Try these same exact games in there and see if they work in there. You ready for some action? I am. All right, so we're popping the disc in now for Doom 3. It is blinking. All right, spinning up. Sounds like it's struggling. Come on. <laughs> Your Xbox can't recognize this disc. Make sure it's an Xbox game, DVD, movie, or audio CD. Also check to see if the disc is dirty or damaged. It is not. Remove the disc to continue. Uh, I'm, I, I hate the KLDs. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. I can't stand them. They are a terrible company that are deceiving people and ripping them off that is now what i'm gonna do is set up the other xbox i have and i'm gonna see if the two exact games i tried there okay work on my modded xbox who wants to place bets they will let's go all right and just to show you this is doom okay show you the condition of the disc this one's not as good but it's still perfectly should be readable hey we're gonna try it in the other xbox if my modded xbox reads it <laughs> that's all you need to know right and halo 2 was perfect like it was brand new all right so i'm gonna hook up my other xbox and see what happens here we go okay so this is the modded xbox that we have plugged in i should probably change the input so i could hear the damn thing Excuse me, I'm not being professional. I'm bumping into the mic. Oh, look, the game is working on my modded Xbox that I've had for about... F yeah, five years. Five years. So, it's not the disc. It's not the Halo 2 disc. Here, uh, the only thing I needed to show is that that game works. Halo 2 works. Now we'll try Doom 3. It works. It works. Both of these games didn't work on the DK oldies. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! 
and I purposely sent it to a different address. One, because I didn't want them to know it's me, and two, I wanted to see if they were doing the same thing to the average customer, and they are. This is three for three. Three for three. All right, I'm done, and I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna do the iPhone handheld, plug in the DK Oldies Xbox, just to show you that I'm not making anything up. Okay, so just to show that I'm not trying to do any tricks or pull any tricks, I mean to say, this is the, as you could hear from the fan, the DK Oldies Xbox, and I'm gonna show myself here, don't mind my messy desk with all the wires all over, here is it up on the screen and i'm going to take a disc there is the doom disc i hate doing this so jank but i want to you know i don't want anyone to think i'm pulling any kind of stunts we're going to open it up hey, i need to cut my nails <laughs> we're going to close it back up see it blinking See it blinking. That means it's struggling to read the disc. Now here's something interesting. It's reading the disc this time, but I am hearing, is that from the, no, that's not from the headphones. There is a weird sound coming from here. <laughs> and the, the, it's not, look, it's skipping, it's skipping. Look at the video skipping. So it sounds like there's steel. Look at the look at the Activision logo. So there's something wrong. Anyway, let me tr Anyway, let me try Halo 2 and see what happens. Yeah. It's I got lucky this one time, but it's still having trouble reading. You can see cuz the video's skipping. All right, don't mind my gorgeous horse. We now have Halo 2. Let's see if the DK Oldies Xbox reads that. There we go. Blink, blink, blink. Oh my God, that noise is so weird. It almost doesn't sound like it's coming from the console, but it is. I checked all the headphones. Just in case. Nope. This is bizarre. Well, I'm definitely going to have to open it now. No question, because now it's it's not really reading the discs. But it is, but it's not. Let's see. This one it's struggling less with. <laughs> All right. So bet, uh, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe... When they tested this, it was it was running okay. I don't think so, but maybe it was. Uh, all right, let me uh, get the tools out, which I may not have, so this may be a couple days later. And crack open this Xbox and see if they did a damn thing inside of it. I'm going to place bets they didn't.
All right, so here is the top of the Xbox so far. The shielding seems pretty clean, minus some stuff there, but nothing to write home about here. So, okay, this is not dusty or dirty as far as I'm seeing. Not that it really matters. The Xbox essentially doesn't work, but at least it's clean so far. How could you tell that no one's been here so far I'm recording right now? Just clean. Nothing's been pulled or plugged. You, like the why? Like you could tell by the IDE cable and stuff. Like no yeah, one. It's, just, it's, just, it's yeah. from the factory, is what you're saying. Yeah. So again, it looks clean, but it looks clean as if no one's been in here. The truth will be is when we take this off here. That's where the CPU and GPU are. But it may be so gunked on that you may need something to. I've seen people say that that you almost have to take it off with like a sledgehammer. <laughs> Caps are bad. Where? Let me see. Swollen. Tops are swollen. Capacitors are swollen. Look, the company that just made a video is saying they refurbished their consoles, insinuating they refurbish all of them. Swollen capacitors here. Let me see if there's any others. I wanted my, my dad's an engineer. This is why I want him to take it apart. I wouldn't have noticed. If the caps were leaking, I would have noticed. These capacitors for the power supply are swollen and on the brink of leaking you said well these might have been held down by this but this is definitely a problem that yep. may be a, a one let's see what output voltage is. Do we have? five and twelve and three three okay so there's four caps four different voltages and these are 6.3 so they're probably on the five or the 3.3 volt rail so how many caps are bad do you think in here right now for uh can't tell what the marker on that but that looks okay Right that now, that top looks flat. That top right now, there's flat. four. What the hell, please? All right, I love, I love. Wow, did did that just get? Was there some kind of pad there that got melted through? I don't know. I'm not but sure what it is. They looked. definitely. Let me feel it. No, the th the whatever thermal paste is here. Let me make sure I'm focused. Just hold it still for a second. Yeah. All right, so whatever thermal paste is here is absolutely rock solid. They've done absolutely nothing on there. And let me look at the processor one second. Move your hand. Now look at it. Look at it. Bone dry. Absolutely bone dry. Just want to let it be known that we did take off this clamp and this still didn't come off, by the way. So for everyone who saw the clamp on before, yes, it was removed. And we still couldn't pull it up because the thermal paste is probably that dry. So, DK Oldies, I, I don't really, I don't really know what to say. Uh, is is Joey going around <laughs> blocking everybody who talks about him? Is the social media manager going around and damage controlling? I cannot believe they had the audacity. I have the video right here called DKLD's refurbishes consoles after countless YouTubers, including me, have proven that they don't. You refurbish this one, DKLDs. It has swollen capacitors inside. The power button doesn't work. One out of every, let's say, eight times. So I'm being conservative and not being melodramatic or over-exaggerating. It doesn't read discs. It Part of the reason my dad says it may not read discs, it may not necessarily be the laser itself. It could be that the capacitors on the power supply are starting to fail, so it cannot properly read discs. That's speculation, but it doesn't matter at this point. The dried thermal paste we showed you, that on one of the processors was so dried that we couldn't even take the fins off of it. You didn't refurbish this. You didn't refurbish the PlayStation 2. You didn't refurbish the Nintendo Entertainment System. If you were just selling these at the price you were selling them at and just saying, hey, it's what it is, no one would care. But you literally have a video that you put up three days ago called DK All These Refurbishes Consoles. You don't. You're liars. You use that as an excuse. That lie is an excuse to sell these at a premium. That's the problem that we have with you. You are scam artists and you need to be exposed. I'm taking a break from them for a while, but for Christ's sake, I don't know how many more examples you need. DK Oldies is a scam and they're liars and they're trying to pull the wool over Normie's eyes, showing that they're doing these things to these consoles, showing that they're refurbishing them when they're flat out not. 
and they're screwing people out of money. Also, again, huge shout out to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. There's a link below in the description and you can use code REVIEWTECH to get 55% off your first month. Again, thank you Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Link below in the description. This is Rich at Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. <laughs>